The Management of Nerve Injury by Grade Nowadays we use the Comprehensive Classification of Nerve Injuries which is adapted from Lundberg and others. We talk about conduction blocks where there's ischemia, edema or demyelination of the nerve but no axonal loss. We talk about axonal injuries where there's axonal disruption and subsequent distal Wallerian degeneration and we talk about the severe axonal injury associated with perineural disruption and the nerve transection as described as the neurotomesis injury by Seddon and the grade 4 and 5 classification by Sunderland. When we look at pain, pain may be present in an ischemic conduction block nerve injury but otherwise is a hallmark of axonal disruption. Autonomic dysfunction is only seen when there's loss of axons. Tinel sign again is a sign of damaged axons. Recovery will be incomplete or absent in severe grades of end endoneural perineural disruption plus nerve transection associated with axonal injury. And the rate of recovery is higher for low grade injuries. Surgery may be involved in most types of nerve injury but is rarely needed in the grade 2 axonal injury and rarely needed in the conduction block type injury. Points to note, pain may be present in a conduction block due to ischemia, no autonomic dysfunction in conduction block because there's no axonal damage, Tenels is also absent in these conduction block injuries. There's no recovery in axonal injury with perineural disruption. Very fast rates of recovery are seen in low-grade axonal injury, but surgery may still be necessary in conduction blocks for diagnosis or decompression, or if there's any doubt or a delay in recovery.